Hi there guys, welcome to today's episode. I'm here on Becto.net on the Skyblock server. Um, and I'm going to be doing a um, tour, I guess, of my island. Someone suggested it and I thought it was a neat idea. Also, um, a update on the last episode I did on Skyblock. I managed to complete the freaking food um, challenge. It was a golden carrot, I think it was, or a carrot, I can't remember which one, I think it was a golden carrot, because that's craftable. It was a golden carrot, that was the thing I was missing, and I couldn't believe it because I didn't realise you could eat golden carrots, so I guess that is my fault. <laughs> so now we've pretty much completed all of the challenges, apart from I now have to get to level a thousand, and I'm currently nowhere near that at 437 so almost halfway I guess but yeah so first of all this is like my little housey area you know it's safe in here and I store everything in here um also one other thing that I just remembered I still haven't given away this spawner so the person I think it was Eli de bomb hasn't come and claimed it yet so I will give you um, probably another week, I reckon, and if I don't see you around, or if you don't find me, then I will give it away to somebody else, and somebody else who, um, entered the competition, okay? So, be on the lookout for that. So yeah, that, that's my house, um, Warrior made me these banners of my name, which is pretty sweet, it was quite a while ago though. Um, so let's have a look around. I got myself a beacon over here and I've got all these blocks just trying to boost my island level really. Then I've got grass here that I need to get rid of. It was when, it was in one of the episodes I was doing when I was trying to make the sheep, like a sheep pen. And I started putting the grass here um, to make them eat so they would grow more wool. But I need a silk touch pick to pick that up. I've made an enchanting table now. Um, and here is my cobblestone generator. Um, it keeps breaking because when I mine, I end up mining through the item that is here. And then my lava <gasps> destroys all my redstone. And yeah, it's a nightmare. Um, <laughs> yeah, if, if you guys want to recreate this, it's really good. Because when it gets to the end here, it pushes it over the top. The only thing that stops it is ores, obviously. Because pistons don't push ores at the moment. Um, so then we continue over here. Got my sheep pen with an iron golem and there used to be a snowman in here but he died to a skeleton I think it was. Then I got a bunch of villagers and then I made a mob grinder for just in case I needed some experience. I then filled this area with slabs because um, slabs are not limited so you can have as many as you want there is no limit unlike I'm pretty sure there's a limit on the amount of cobble and the amount of stone brick. Possibly not stone brick, I'm not sure. I think there's one on cobblestone and stone and possibly stairs. I'm not sure though. Um, so that is why I use slabs because you can use as many as you like. Um, so yeah, this place is just a bit empty. Maybe I'll do like a villager farm here or a gold farm, which is two of the farms that were suggested that I should uh, create and uh, teach you guys how to do although I'm sure some of you know more about it than I do um, so then moving on to this this is my slime farm so I found the slime chunk that is on my island and then you just create all these layers um, and then they'll just spawn on there and then they will fall off the edge go into the water and then come in here and then when they drown then all the slime goes in here um, but when there's a lot of people on they don't really seem to spawn because um, somebody is eating up all the mobs <laughs> so I don't get any oh here I have a little mushroom farm whoa look at all these mushrooms yeah I have a little mushroom farm here it's not automated it's just a manual one um i have done an automated mushroom farm 
I have done a video on that. If you guys wanted to find out how to do that, then you can find that on my channel. I've also got a lava area, which I collected the lava from my nether through this portal, obviously, and brought the lava back. Um, also, whilst I was over here, I forgot to mention my farm. My automated farm um, just presses button here, and all the water will wash down and harvest all of the crops. Um, I have me a tiny little nether wart farm here. How unorganized is this Is this tour? Like I'm just going backwards and forwards. Um, and then here I've got a melon and pumpkin automated farm. Had to change all the pistons to sticky pistons to stop them being stuck when they extend out because they would get stuck like that due to the anti-redstone plugin thing that's here. I've then also got a sugarcane farm, which doesn't work because, or once again, exactly what I was just talking about, the pistons get stuck sticking outwards. So I have yet to change them into sticky pistons. Um, so yes, this farm does not currently work. It is out of order. Um, here I've got a tiny little tree farm thing that I just mine down if I need wood and obviously the jungle trees and the spruce trees give a lot of wood when I need it so that is nice um I then filled this in again with sandstone because sandstone is also another material that isn't limited or I don't know what the word is called but you can have as an unlimited amount of sandstone on your island unlike stone and cobblestone and possibly stone brick I'm not sure so yeah I'm just gonna just plan on putting it everywhere without risking missing out on a bit of experience because I've gone over the limit um, and then here I've just got like a cobble farm where you can just sit here and you can just mine yourself some cobble there's no pistons needed to it all you have to do is mine it's just simple, um, just like that. Um, good to pick some there. And then the couple goes down here. And then I've got furnaces and stone. Got quite a lot of stone. And then I've got this chest here that feeds the uh, feeds the hoppers that go into the furnaces. It's just behind here, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mind that because I'll probably lose that piece of stone brick. Um, so yeah, potentially I could have like a villager iron farm here and a, a gold farm here, and then possibly a fishing automated fishing farm on this area of land. I don't really want to build anything on the top of this because then my farm won't get the sunlight. Although it doesn't need sunlight, it has light next to it. I'm not sure. I don't really know what I'm going to do um, for me to build those big farms, the gold and the iron farm. It'll take a lot of time and I am going to have to want to get back into Skyblock because at the minute I'm not into it. Mainly because of how hard it is just to mine myself some cobble. Like I used to love this because when I could go off and do something and and then when I come back like there was two layers of this that I could just quickly mine but now because it gets stuck because of the ores it's super annoying and all the farms needing to have sticky pistons not regular pistons and often the redstone times out or all the hoppers time out things like that it just breaks and it is too much effort for me to want to go around and fix it all every time so maybe if in the future when skyblock is reset or revamped that's not gonna happen anytime soon but when if and when it does in the future maybe that will get sorted and we can do those massive farms together i think that would be pretty good um but yeah i just want to remind you about the spawner if the person who won it doesn't come and claim it soon then I will be giving it out to another player so 
make sure you stay tuned for that and keep your eye out because it could be you and you need to come and collect it from me okay so then guys if you have enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new here and i will see you all next time goodbye